Hello, welcome. My name is Nate. I'm an instructor at the Pocono Environmental Education Center, and this is going to be our series on local Pike County geology. This outcrop here is a great example of our local rock. Uh, you can find this on our fossil trail here at Peak. Um, our bedrock here in Pike County is a sedimentary rock called mudstone. And like its name suggests, mudstone is formed by lots and lots of mud. Uh, as the mud layers up, pressure builds and solidifies that mud into a stone. One type of environment that contains a ton of mud and then makes mudstone are oceans. Uh, and as you can see from fossils like this one that we actually found here during filming, uh, this was an ocean. Uh, fossils are, I think, one of the most interesting things about our local geology here. Uh, so if you'll follow me over to the eco zone, we can get a better look at some of those fossils. Now we're in Peak's eco zone in our fossil corner, where you can find things like our fossil pit here and more relevant displays, uh, like this one here. And usually when people think of fossils, they think of big bones like this, especially of dinosaurs, like the Tyrannosaurus rex here. Uh, but fossils can be a wide variety of different things. They're any remains or trace of an organism from a past geologic age, uh, which could be bones, it could be shells or other impressions. Uh, it could even be things like tracks, burrows, or even fossilized droppings. Here in Pike County, our fossils are usually fossils like these. We get impression fossils of marine invertebrates from roughly 380 million years ago. The most common fossil we find here at Peak are crinoids, like these ones right here. Crinoids are commonly known as sea lilies because of their flower-like appearance, but they're actually animals. They're most closely related to things like starfish and sea urchins. We have a reconstruction of a very complete crinoid fossil right here. We can get a good look at the anatomy. Uh, they have a stalk on the bottom here made up of a series of discs stacked on top of each other uh, that they use to anchor themselves to things like rocks and shells and such. They have a body here, also called a calyx, that contains their mouth and all their internal organs. And they have arms sticking out of that body that they use to filter feed. Those discs that make up the crinoid stalk like these here are the most commonly found fossils here at Peak. Another fun fact about the crinoid is that they can still be found in the oceans today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first installment on our new geology series. Uh, if you like this video, join us next time for our discussion about one of my favorite fossilized animals, the trilobite.